This video is brought to you by my friends over at Piano. Check out the link in the description and get a completely free 30 day trial and start your piano journey today. Hi everybody, Levi Clay here back again for another daily transcription and today we are revisiting the great one, Mr Guthrie Govan. And we are looking at his performance of Rhode Island Shred. This is way back in the day, the Tone Merchants concert. He's still playing Sir guitars, so it gives you an idea of just how old this footage is now. Uh, but it's a great, great performance. I think the tune itself is wonderfully performed here. But actually, I really, really love the intro on this song. The, uh, the volume swells and the vibrato with the whammy bar. He's outlining a classic gospel kind of chord progression turnaround here uh, which is really really nice so stick around to the end of the video and i'm going to play you those chords on the piano and talk to you a little bit about the harmony because um yeah i think being able to hear harmony like that and understand chord progressions like that so when you hear someone play it you know what it is because that informs you what to play over the top of it uh, aside from that there's definitely going to be some challenges there's some guesswork in the transcription here when he kicks on that whammy pedal because this is just about trying to go crazy and imitate what obviously would be bumblefoot on the recording playing fretless guitar um that's that's wild but aside from that yeah great challenge i think uh, most of this is definitely achievable for you guys uh, it's just fast so um yeah here we go dig in i'll see you at the end thanks again see you tomorrow Later. <laughs> video was brought to you by my friends over at piano uh, do check out the link in the description get yourself a free trial over there i'm going to take this moment to talk to you about some of the harmony on this track there's some really nice chord changes happening here and these are what i would consider certainly it becomes a country tune but uh, very gospel in the intro very very gospel and learning a lot of these turnaround chord changes really helped my ear training when i heard guthrie play this i immediately knew what the chords the progression was uh, and it came from learning this sort of stuff so let's take a look at that if we look at that um, that intro we've got this nice like g7 type sound going to a first inversion g g with a b in the bass then we've got a c major chord four chord and then we're changing to like a c sharp diminished seven chord so something like this and this of course pulls naturally to a g you could do this better on the piano because we want to put the d in the bass which is really nice uh then walking up to an e minor that's our sixth chord. 
down to the two chord, dominant, and then to our five chord, and then he puts this nice turnaround in there, this G, then G with the seven in the bass, C with an E in the bass, really nice, E flat, dominant seven, and then resolving to our G. Again, I think putting the fifth in the bass is kind of nice there. And then resolving finally, C over D, which will take us really nicely back to the one chord. So if I play those chords in a little bit quicker succession, Really nice chord changes, very, as I say, very gospel in nature. But Guthrie just puts them at the start of the tune there. Very nice, you know, swells on them. They sound fantastic. Aside from that, uh, the tune is is relatively straight ahead. It makes a lot of sense. It's um, it, it's bluesy, don't get me wrong, but it's just a very jazz blues, like play a G and you've got that, that, that melody. Um, I guess I could, if I play something like, what is the melody? words to that effect um g major go into a c7 which is the four chord of course uh how do we want to play that let's play let's play this back to our g the one chord two bars there then to our c7 back to the one chord g and then we make it a little bit jazzier so uh six chord dominant e7 two chord a7 five chord d7 and then a quick 165 g go into e7 let's play a7 d7 back to the g7 and he is outlining those chord changes you heard me playing that melody uh g to a D chord back to my G get the idea so outlining those chord changes I'm not going to pretend that I can solo over this currently my piano expertise my, the way I use it is for chordal stuff uh, but we'll, I'm sure we'll get there with some work on piano so thank you to piano for sponsoring this video hopefully that helped you hear those chords in a little bit more of a uh, an effective way and has inspired you to go and do some work yourself so go do some practicing and I'll see you tomorrow